Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nettie here. Today I am going to be doing a review and this was a requested video and it was requested by Sissy, one of my subscribers. So hi Sissy. Um, hope this helps you. And also I'm going to kind of kill two birds with one stone because um, I think uh, Laura M and Judy's World they asked me to do what fits in my um, square mini Chanel and so I'm gonna do a, like a little bit of both in this video but here are the two bags in question and they look very similar um, but um, actually the Valentino it, it's a little deceiving it looks bigger than it actually is mainly because of the way it's stitched in and you can see, I'm going to just bring it up really close and try and angle it so that you can see the way that the leather has been stitched on the inside. It's kind of like a, it has a, a little bit of a fluting on the edge and same with the underside. Um, you can see that this outer edge is a lot lower than the, what it actually um, has for, an, for a bottom. It's kind of like concave, um, and so it really is actually uh, about the same as the mini, um, except that the mini is a little bit wider. This one's three inches, and this one is about two inches. So, you know, looks are very deceiving, um, and it's a little bit of an illusion for the um, Valentino Rock Stud, the way it's, um, the, the sewing is done on the leather. But let's um, give this a go and we'll see, you know, which purse can handle more or if I can put the same as in the uh, rock stud as I can put in to the mini. All right, so here we go. So for this video, I'm just going to show you, uh, I have a handful of things that I'm going to attempt to put in both bags. And just let me go through them really quick, quickly with you. Um, I have a Dior lipstick and I always carry some sort of a lipstick with me when I'm going out. Um, I'll take my glasses. Most times when I'm carrying a small bag like these um, I don't put them in a pouch. I just kind of put them right on top and uh, go with that. Um, I always carry my Louis Vuitton clay. It has my car keys in it and I always take my phone. That's an iPhone 6 and uh, most of the time I'll carry a really downsized wallet. This is um, just the Chanel uh, card holder. And then I will take some makeup with me and I usually put it in a soft pouch um, because it's just so pliable. And in here I just usually have like a little, um, like a little powder container and a little brush and a little eyeliner and that's it. So let's start with the Valentino Rock Stud. And the inside of this bag is pretty plain. It has one pocket in the front here, and then it has just a plain zip pocket at the back. So um, how I pack this bag, um, you know, whenever you're using small downsized bags, you always have to kind of like maneuver them <laughs> and try and pack them uh, you know the best way you can. So what I always do is I always put my phone to the front because it's easy access for me. Next I will put my um, clay inside. And I always just stack them one on top of the other. And then I'll put my makeup in here. And because it's a soft pouch, again like I said, you can maneuver any of the items inside there and I will put my lipstick on the side you can see there and I still have a little tiny bit of room right over here and normally I'll just put my glasses I just lay them right on top like that because it's easy access and the little card holder what, for this bag, I'm just going to put that right in the little front slip pocket. And so you see everything fits in there. And I even have um, that little bit of extra room here for anything else that I would want to put down there. 
So maybe another little um, like a little hand hand sanitizer or something, you know, a little cream. But you know, with this bag, that's fully loaded because it's it is narrower on the top. So there it is, closed, and you can tell that it's just bulging a little tiny bit on the side there. And it is quite a bit heavy. This bag is a little bit heavier than the Chanel bag, mainly because the leather is just a little bit heavier and um, it's, it has a little bit more padding on it. And also the chain on this bag is quite a bit heavier than the Chanel, like significantly heavier. Uh, the Chanel is very light. So that's uh, this bag fully packed. Okay, so we have the Mini, and very much like the Valentino, it has the slip pocket and it has a zipper pocket. The only difference is the slip pocket is on the same side as the zipper pocket. So that does make some difference because if you put something in here and in the zipper pocket, it'll bulge a lot more than if um, the slip pocket were in the front on this side. But I can still fit everything in here. Um, so let's put the, we'll put, pack it very in the similar fashion that I did my um, Valentino. You can see everything is everything is fitting in uh, almost the same, and this is the makeup. And my glasses just fit on top, and then the little card case. I'm going to put it in that back slip pocket, and you can see that. I still have, much like the Valentino on this side, oops, sorry guys, <laughs> much like the Valentino, it does have the same amount of room on that corner that I could fit another little lipstick or like a um, little hand cream. Just stick those. The one difference is the Valentino is just a slight bit higher um, than the Mini but everything is fitting in there. And for closing this bag, because this bag is just a little bit wider than the Valentino, it, it's not as difficult to close. Uh, and I still have, you know, some give on it. But it is fully packed and you can see the sides. They are um, not bulging too badly. And this bag is a lot lighter, fully packed, than the Valentino. And again, this, this um, strap is so much lighter, um, and it just makes carrying it a lot easier on your shoulder when you have it slung over your shoulder. I find with the Valentino, um, because the chain is very heavy, that it, you know, if it's packed too heavy, um, then it's going to start digging into your shoulder. So that's what fits in this little square mini as well. So those who wanted to know how much I can put into this little bag, it holds quite a bit. It's surprising. Um, uh, you know, I'm always constantly amazed at how much I can actually get into this bag. But they are very, very similar. Um, this is the this is the Valentino, the small size. There is one size smaller, even, you know, it's called the mini, um, and it's just a little bit smaller than this bag. So I can't imagine, uh, you know, how much fits in that one versus this one, because um, I thought, you know, this is pretty small. Uh, but uh, this is a great little bag. It um, has worn really well. It has, I, you know, I have had no problems with the leather on this one. Uh, a lot of people have asked me about this leather. It's sort of like a like a calf skin, and it has you know I have no marks on it. Um, 
and it's just it's held up it's really in really good shape and I have had no tarnishing on the metal at all. And I just wipe it down, you know, I just keep it, try and keep it clean and um, dust free. I love, I love this bag as well. Um, it's a, it's a beautiful caviar leather and it's very durable. I've had no problems with it and I've taken it out quite a bit. The only thing I do say on this one, and I have been noticing, is as I've used it, you can see just a little bit where the leather is uh, marking uh, because you know when you open it up, it just puts a little bit of creasing along um, that back of the of the leather. But other from that, this bag is such a great little bag. I've you know used it quite a bit and taken it to New York with me, um, and uh, it's just been really good. So there's my comparison, guys, on the Chanel and the Valentino Rockstud. I think both bags are just beautiful, and um, you know if you're looking to downsize, these are great size bags. I think. Uh, and they actually, you know, can handle quite a bit, as you can see. Uh, I'm never afraid to downsize. I love my big bags, but uh, the little minis are just so easy and carefree sometimes. And I love them because of their crossbody ability. Anyways, if I haven't answered any of your questions or I haven't, I've missed something, just put them in the comments down below and I'll try and answer them as best I can. Um, but there you have it, the comparison between the Chanel and the Valentino. Uh, you know, I highly recommend both. Um, they're beautiful bags and they do, they stand the test of time. Just goes to show you when you buy quality leather and quality bags that, you know, you really get your money's worth out of them. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and useful and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.